Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last year at the beginning of December, I posted a video that Microsoft was rolling out an update for Notepad to the Windows Insiders that was finally adding two useful features. The first was it added edit with Notepad in the File Explorer context menu and a character count to keep track of your document's length. Now that was back at the beginning of December and I have noticed now in the stable version of Notepad that these two uh, features are now available. Now you may have seen these, you may have not, but just bringing it to your attention like we like to do on the channel. And I have noticed that the last update I received um, for Notepad through the Microsoft Store was on the 11th of this month, January 2024. So I only noticed this today. So I'm just quickly doing this video just to keep you guys posted. So as you can see, here at the bottom, we now have a character count. And if I just, just demonstrate by just randomly uh, typing in a couple of characters, you can see there at the bottom, it's um, ramping up those characters as I'm typing. And at the moment, I've got 258 characters. Now, this is part of a good couple of useful features that Microsoft has been rolling out to the notepad over the last year or so. Um, we have received a couple of uh, improvements with the tab support and the dark theme and so on. So there we go. It doesn't give you a word count like it does um, in Microsoft Word. It only gives you a character count. But nonetheless, if you are using uh, Notepad on a regular basis, this may be of benefit. So there we can see I have four characters typed currently. Now, the other one, as mentioned, is you can now edit with Notepad from the File Explorer context menu. And I actually think this is a nice handy option. So if I head over to my File Explorer, choose this random file, here we can see that if I right click now on a document, we have now, or any file, we have edit in Notepad. And there we go, that's a new option. I actually think this is a very nice move in the right direction and has been a long time coming. And if I click on that, obviously I can then edit that document uh, in Notepad itself, if it's compatible with Notepad. I have tried this out a little bit before posting and some documents do some funny things, but if it is compatible and more of a text document, I have found that it does work and open up in Notepad. But nonetheless, there we go. Um, Notepad has that had a bit of an upgrade over the last couple of days. And just to uh, let you know that I have received this character count and edit with Notepad with version 11.2311.35.0. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.